Hi there beautiful Thrivers! Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. Today we're going to go through all of my savings challenges and do a quarter one update. In addition to that, we are going to make my new envelopes for my wallet. So thank you guys for being here. Click that subscribe button, like the video, and let's go. Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing good. I am looking forward to this video. I cannot wait to see our progress for the first quarter of 2023 in our savings challenges. I am just way too impatient to wait a whole year to find out how much I've saved so far. So we're going to do that today. In addition to that, as I said in my intro, we are going to make the envelopes for my wallet. I'm going to be using the zipless envelopes. We're going to try it out. I'll be the guinea pig. I'll let you guys know how I feel about it. But we're going to assemble those today and then put them into my wallet. So I appreciate everyone who commented in yesterday's video letting me know you wanted to see it. It was pretty much unanimous. I don't think there was anybody that actually said, I don't want to see that. So thank you guys for commenting and letting me know. So we're going to add that in today's video. But before we get started, let me go ahead and grab today's prompt card. If you're new to my videos, this is a prompt card. It's basically a conversation starter. So I'll ask and answer the question on the card in this video and you guys can put your answers in the comments below. It's just a little something to help us get to know each other better. So today's prompt card is, what's your strangest dream you've had recently? I don't know that I have strange dreams. I know that everyone dreams like on the upscale of four to five times a night. You have four to five dreams a night, I think. Don't take my word on that. I'm pretty sure I've read that, though. And the only ones you remember are the ones that you wake up in the middle of having. So if you don't wake up in the middle of one of those dreams, then you're not going to remember the dream, which is kind of crazy. That's not to say I don't dream, but I, I definitely do. I wouldn't say that I've had strange dreams. I have had adrenaline rush dreams, like we're running from a tornado, like end of the world scenarios, if you want to call those strange, um, just very adrenaline rushed, but I don't know. My dreams are pretty much just normal or I don't remember them at all. What about you guys? What's the strangest dreams you've had recently? Let me know in the comments below. All right. So today we are going to find out how much we have saved so far in the first quarter of 2023. So I'm going to flip back into my budget book where I have a section set up just for quarter one check-ins, which is right here. I'm so excited. All right. So let me get my purple. Got to have that. We're going to do the three challenges that I'm kind of doing, which is the save the change challenge, the $1 challenge and hundred envelopes, just to find out where we're at. And we're going to keep going through each quarter. And as we get to December, we'll have our final number. But I like to see like, you know, it kind of helps you gauge which sections of the year are your most able to put away into saving challenges versus the tighter months, which for me, I'm going to think that it's going to be around here because we have vacation and Christmas. So you might see lower numbers here versus the first half of the year. So anyway, we're going to find out how much we've saved so far. I'm going to start with save the change. Um, I think the best way to go about this is just start at January. I don't know. Let's see. Total saved $6.06. Yeah, I think this will be the best way to do it. 606. And then for February, we saved 5146. That was a a fluke. That's not all the time, but you know, we'll take it. I can't remember. Do you guys remember like what happened to make me I think it might have been vacation possibly. I just took the bulk amount and then whatever was left from it. Anyway, um, then March, this was last month and we, or this month, should I say, it's still the 31st, but we just finished this up. So now we have a total saved of 1004. 
So in total, for the Save the Change Challenge, we have saved $61.50 in the first quarter. We'll never see those numbers again because that was that one month in February was a little bit of a fluke. So, all right, so let's go ahead and calculate up our $1 challenge. Ooh, I've been looking forward to this. All right, so our $1 challenge, I'm not going to count the $2 bill because technically I counted it for last year, but I didn't want to get rid of it or deposit it because I got this from Intentional Living when I ordered from her. I actually got two, but I gave one to my hubby because you don't ever see these. It's just so cool. So I'm not going to count this. This is just like uh, a showpiece, if we'll call it that. But we are going to count all of these. I do have a sticky note in here somewhere. Let's see. Where are you? It's somewhere in here. There it is. Okay. So... The reason why I'm even pulling that out is because my hubby, um, a couple of weeks ago, maybe, maybe about a month ago, I don't even know at this point, but it was $35. He, ch he found $35 worth of change, which is now in my change bucket. And I told him this would be the only place I'd be okay with exchanging for coins. So he took $35. I'm not going to put that in the bottom line, but we will see what that would have been had I kept that. All right, so let's start with this first. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 dollars that we saved plus the 35. That's 105 dollars. We actually saved 105 dollars. Wow. But we're only going to say we have 70 because I will be doing. Um, I'll be doing like the rolling the change at the end of the year. So either way, that's going to be counted. But $70 here in the first quarter just by saving the ones from the wallet and the ones that I've gotten from our cash envelopes. That's crazy. It adds up, guys. If you're not doing a $1 save the change, you, I mean $1 um, challenge, might I suggest it? It's like little to no effort, you know? It's just your leftover ones, and they add up over time. So that was quarter one of the ones. I might start putting the ones in this one now for quarter two, but we'll see about that. All right, 100 envelope challenge. I'm really excited about this one. All right, let me go ahead and put all of this in order. All right, so we have 100, 200, 50, 70, 90, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 75, 80, 
381, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 391, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 400, 401, 2, 3, and 404. That's crazy. $404 just in the, four, the first quarter of doing the 100 envelope challenge. That's amazing. And I do use this to make change sometimes, so that helps condense it. So that's cool. And doesn't change in value, but I just use it to help um, get some change when I need it. So this hundred envelope challenge, I made this little tracker for myself. I start at the number 10, which is right here. And then I go up to the number 109 so that I actually am, I'm getting rid of the one, two, three, four, and so on, but I'm adding 101, 102, 103. So that really ups the value of this challenge to almost $6,000, which is crazy to think that you could just do that. So what I've been doing is just for my bonus checks, I try and hit these higher numbers. For the basic checks, I hit the lower numbers. And then if I just have money left over in my wallet that add up to one of these numbers, I do a lower number with that too. So that's what I've been doing. It's very little effort. I love that. But wow, in total, we have saved 61, 50, 70, and 404 in these challenges, which so far a total of $535.50. That's craziness. That's craziness. All right, so we've got our first... Quarter one check-in, 2023. Not bad at all. Not bad. All right. So now I knew that this was going to be pretty short, as you can see. So now we're going to work on my envelopes. So I did spend quite a bit of time before this video um, getting everything ready so that it would just not be as time-consuming. So I've got my envelopes here. These are the zipless envelopes. I got them off of Amazon. I can try and remember to link that in the description, but if I don't and you want to know, let me know in the comment and I will definitely get that link for you. But these are the zipless envelopes. They are the same material as the envelopes that we use with the zippers. It's just, it has no zipper, none at all. So I was worried as I started opening them, like they look really um, loose. And I know that some of you had commented that they are pretty loose and that some people actually put paper clips here to kind of keep the money from falling out. But I'm going to be trying something a little different. What I did is for the past couple weeks, I have been, I had one in here. As you can see, I've been using it for my receipts. So I've been piling these full of receipts and it has been perfectly fine. Nothing has fallen out. Putting the cardstock in there has made this a little bit more tighter. As you can see, it doesn't flop as much. So I think the cardstock is a good trick to avoid um, things falling out. So we are going to get rid of these envelopes. I've had them for about two years now. And I think it's time, time for a change. And I'm going to take this out as well because we are going to make an envelope for receipts. So I'm just going to repurpose this one and put receipts on here. So I debated with myself on whether or not I do the words on the envelope itself or if I do it on the cardstock and then put it inside and then I can just change this out as will. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I tend to like to do is not actually putting anything on the surface of the envelopes. And as you can see, I did spend some time making some words here for my envelope, finally going to have them worded and I am going to try my best to reuse 
this, this one piece. I can actually cut this in half and I have two pieces, but I've seen it. I've seen you guys do it, so I know it's possible. Um, so we'll see. I'm going to cut this in half so I'll have two pieces of transfer tape to use. But yeah, we're going to try and repurpose the transfer tape for all of these words. All right. So my plan of action right now is just to put the words on here. That's all I'm going to be doing. Um, and then we will assemble them here. So let me do that. I'll speed this part up for you guys. And this is usually the part where I play some music for you guys so that you can watch me work. But I decided today I just wanted to do a voiceover while you watch just because I want to tell you guys that I appreciate you so much. I read every single one of your comments. Even if I don't get to respond to each of them, I do. And you guys make this journey so much more for me. Just more so thank you all right we're done we have done them all okay so i did have a little bit extra i think i had two extra so if i need these for anything else i have them so i'll keep those of course now is the key by the way i pre-cut these of course but i did make measurements don't laugh at me but i have eight 0.7 basically centimeters for the height and 17.4 centimeters for the width so that is what the size of these are just in case you wanted to know and then we're just going to slide these in so let's start with spending money is usually my first so we'll start with spending I'm just going to tuck that in here and it's a nice tight fit, so that's good. We want it to be tight because that means it will keep it stretched. So there's my spending envelope. And we can go ahead and put, actually, you know what? I'll wait on that until we get it into my wallet. All right. And then the next one I usually do is gasoline. So with these, I noticed like if you've never opened it before, it, it feels a little sticky to itself but after you open it, it's fine. And then just slide this in there. What is hand-eye coordination? <laughs> there. And once you get it in, just slide it in. It's like nice and tight, which is exactly what you want it to be. I think this will help avoid a lot of that loose envelope feel definitely don't want it to be loose you don't want your money flying out at the most inopportune moment okay I feel like I need to fill in the blank space as I'm doing this with talk so how is everyone doing do you ever feel like you can't get ahead like no matter how hard you try and how hard you save it just you can't get ahead because things always happen always something breaks down in the house or a rock flies into your windshield yes that has happened so we're gonna have to Replace our windshield. All right, so we have spending, gas, and then I usually do allowances. But yeah, I just, I feel like I can't get it together. I feel like I'm together, but I can't get the finances to just stay on a nice, upward trajectory does that make sense and there's nothing I can do about it because things happen out of our control so how do you deal with that 
with the feeling of just never getting ahead. Like you're finally getting ahead. Like for instance, you know, I'm saving up for to be two months ahead. That's my goal for this year. My number one goal this year. And now there's allowances. So spending, gas, allowances, and then I do kids spending. So I'm trying my hardest to get two months ahead as much as I can without breaking the bank, but also while saving for Christmas and vacations and birthdays and all of those things. So it's basically extra money that I just have that I can put towards it. But I thought I was making a really good headway. I'm at $550 towards that goal. Um, originally, I needed 20 2300 I think. Then it was 2350 because a bill went up. Then it was 2400 because a bill went up. And now our house bill, which we're on an adjustable rate mortgage, so it's up in May. And it will go up again over $100. So now I need to save $2,500. Which means I still now need to save an additional $2,000. And it just never, I never get to enjoy the moment of, oh, now I'm under $2,000. So I need to save. All right, miscellaneous. So what do you guys do? What are some coping mechanisms that you guys do when there's literally nothing you can do about it? No, it's just out of your control. You don't have control of it, period. What do you do to cope with that? Because you can't fix it. It's out of your control. So what do you do to cope? What are your coping mechanisms when things just don't go how you were hoping, envisioning, planning, making goals for, what do you do? I think a lot of times for me, and I know if you guys are not, not a Christian or you don't believe in God, then this probably won't mean much to you. But just leaning in, leaning in on knowing that no matter what I do, God's got it under control. And just living in that faith of knowing that it's going to be okay. Either way, it's going to be okay because God had somebody higher has it under control. And that that is like when you were a kid and you were scared of the storm and you ran into your daddy or your mom's arms and you felt safe there. Even though the storm was raging and things were out of control, you felt safe when you were with your parent or your guardian or whoever it was that raised you. And that safe feeling is what I get when I think about running into my father in heaven's arms. I get that feeling of security and safety and even though everything doesn't look like it's going to be okay, it's going to be okay. Because somebody else has it. <laughs> somebody who can control it has it. Anyway, but what about you guys? What do you do to cope? All right, last one. Receipts. I'm just curious because, like, you know, if, if we've learned anything from COVID, and I think we learned a lot. And it's that you can't expect you can't expect anything. Everything is out of your control, really. You can do your best. But what do you do? What do you do in those moments? Anyway. Alright, this is the last one. As you can see, this is tedious, but that's because it's really tight in there. Which is what I want. I want it to be super tight so that it is tight and not as flexible without it. There they are. Alright, so let's put these into my wallet. I'm super excited. This has been needing to be done. So I'm glad we're doing it. Okay. First things first, I'm the realist. 
Just kidding. If you know, you know. Spending money. Let's go backwards. All right, receipts. I already pulled my receipts out. By the way, if you are not using Fetch Rewards, use Fetch Rewards. I forgot to mention in my video, um, all you do is scan your receipts and you get free points and you can cash those points in for free gift cards. So check that out. I have a code in the description below. You can get a free 2,000 points just for scanning your receipt and your first receipt and then I'll get a free 2,000 points for referring you and we can be friends on there. It'll be kind of cool. All right, so we have other miscellaneous kids spending allowances gasoline and spending money. All right, there it is. It fits in really well with this, which is nice. They are bigger in size compared to these. But as you can see, like these have been used. Like it's two years old. So I'm excited. I'm excited about this. All right, let's start with spending money. I uh, clearly haven't spent anything since the last video that I posted yesterday. But we have $150 here. I'm going to put that in my spending. I love it. Gas. I have $30. Put that in my gasoline. For allowances, I have... Today's allowance is today Friday. Today's Friday, right? So I have today's allowance and then um, the next two Fridays of allowances. Is today Friday or Thursday? What is today? Today is Friday, I think. So I'll put the allowances in there. I'll give them their allowance today. And then we have kids spending. I always stick a 20 in there. Which is usually coffee at church, by the way. My kids love to get their coffee there. Whatever inspires them to go to church on Sunday. <laughs> uh, miscellaneous, $10. Right there. And then other, this is when like I like to grab the grocery money and I'll just put it in an empty envelope. For me, it was this envelope right here. Um, but now I'll have an other envelope that I can use it's all purpose. So whether it's groceries or I need to take money back to the bank or whatever. And then I have one for receipts. So there we go. It looks super good. It looks very nice and clean and fresh. Let's test it. Oop, let's not have things that don't need to fall out, fall out. We only had a little bit of money movement, but I don't plan to, um, uh, do that <laughs> ever what do you guys think there is some money movement there but that's if you're rough with it and I'm not going to be rough with it and the cool thing about it is it's zippered so it's going to be very secure in here like it's not going anywhere I can move this around let's see let's test that let's test that theory Everything's still in. All right, so that's that's what it is. I'm going to be the guinea pig for you guys and let you guys know, keep you updated as we go, whether these work well or not. And if I end up having to use a paper clip to keep them from going crazy. But I think it'll be okay. I think so. In this kind of setting with the zip up, I mean, the chances of anything falling out of this zipped up is very I would even venture to say zero percent so anyway we got that done I think it looks good what do you guys think let me know I almost wish I had gotten purple um, but on camera it actually kind of gives off a purple look um, it is blue though <laughs> it's very blue but when you put it in here it actually mutes the blue like you can tell the difference this one is just darker so it mutes the blue because of the envelope itself which I like 
So, but I do wish I had gotten purple because I'm a purple girl. But I had decided I was going to do this in my revolving like this, but I didn't like the two blues together. So, <laughs> I still might do the black binder and let that be my new cash envelopes and do the cash envelopes with these. But I don't know. I'm open to suggestions. All right. So, that's all I have for you guys today. I'm glad that you wanted to see me do that and I will gladly be the guinea pig for us all to let you know how these zipless envelopes do over time. So with that said, I'll let you go. I'll see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend. On Monday, we are going to do our cash condensing and our sinking funds update and we have a lot of condensing to do. So I look forward to that. And if you're still watching and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to be your weekly inspiration for your own budgeting journey and to be here to motivate you as you go along on your own. So do that for me. Do the youtube -y things and I will see you guys on Monday as always. Until next time. Bye.